garden at the little bed where I planted the cabbage and the lettuce. And I have lost another plant to a vole. That makes the third one. So we're going to try to do something to salvage some of these plants. So I'm going to show you what we're going to try today. And if you have any suggestions, I would greatly appreciate it that are non-toxic for the garden soil. Yesterday, in the spot where we lost two plants, we put a mouse trap with peanut butter on it, and then we covered it with one of these flower pots and left them both overnight. And we didn't catch anything that way. So my next idea is to move some of these plants, if not all, to another garden bed where I haven't seen any bowl tunnels and see if we can save some that way. So that's what I'm gonna work on right now. I wanted to be working on my potato beds over there now, but I don't want to lose all these beautiful plants. So I'm gonna to try to work on this first and then I hope I get to the potato beds today. See the earthworms in there now, and the roots are starting to spread out. A lot of earthworms. It's a shame to have to move these, but I don't know if I leave them all here, I might lose all of them. Look at all the earthworms crawling on there. That's great. Lots of earthworms still left in the hole there. Hopefully I can grow something else here that the voles won't ruin. It's a shame to have to move the plants from this good soil. I had intended to plant something else in this bed, but since I need a place for these plants, I'm going to put them here now. So I'm going to put one row next to this garlic that I planted late just to see how it would grow when it's planted late. So I try to give it room to grow and then put some of these plants over here. Again, this soil is very loose doesn't need any tilling, it's wet, has good soil structure, crumbly even though it's wet, so it'll be another good home for this plant. And we brought some earthworms over here with it. good soil. I've worked hard to have that to take care of the soil through the winter and manage it so it's in good shape and I've grown some really nice plants but all that won't matter if I let the voles eat the plants up. Always challenges. just beautiful. You see what good structure it has even though it's wet. It just crumbles, falls apart, has earthworms in it. So hopefully the bowls won't get to this area. 
Okay, I have left seven plants in this bed where I originally put them. We'll see if any of those get to live and grow. And in this little bed here next to some garlic, I have put two short rows of the plants. And then up here in this little bed, I have put four of these plants. So we'll see if any of them get to make it. I hope they're spread out enough that they won't all get eaten. This is the bed where I moved these plants to yesterday, trying to save them from the voles. But today I discovered that one of these plants has also been destroyed by a vole. So I thought up a different strategy today to try to save plants. Well, I am not a big fan of raised beds. I think it's more natural to grow in the soil at ground level and then the soil has the advantage of the warmth or the coolness that it provides there but I'm also not a fan of allowing voles to eat my plants so I'm attempting this raised bed to see if I can keep voles out of it I started by putting a layer of bark on the bottom trying to fit it in tightly so there would not be room for a vole to go through cracks to get through the layer of bark. Then I went to one of our pig lots and I got a wheelbarrow load of soil from there and I brought it up here and I put it in the bed. And then I went to my compost pile and I got another wheelbarrow load of compost to put that in the bed. And then I top that off with leaves to keep the moisture in. So I have put eight plants in here. And that's a little more crowded than I would like it to be. But I did that anyway so I could get eight instead of six in there. So we will see if the voles climb over or get into this somehow. So I wonder what you think. And do you have any good ideas on how to deal with voles? If you've been successful, I would really like to hear it. Also, I am not a fan of trying to grow vegetables in pots just because I have not had a good history of trying to do that. But in order to try to keep the voles from eating them, I've put three lettuce plants in this pot. And again, they're a little closer than I like, but we're going to see how it works. I put just a few leaves in the bottom of this pot, and then I put in some of our compost that we started making last fall. So, it will be interesting to see how that does, too. I've just taken what I already have on hand and tried to make something out of it that I think would be useful. So we'll see how it all works out. Now you can see the strawberries are coming along. It won't be too long till it will know how successful we were with this method of planting strawberries. So stay with me and look for future videos and we'll see if the voles are defeated and we'll see if the strawberries are a success. So I wish you happy gardening and a great day, and thanks for watching.